Hello and welcome Gemini to your February 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. It helps me grow the channel. You would help me out really, really massively. Thank you so much. And if you like my work, you want to buy me a coffee maybe. <laughs> and you can buy me a coffee now on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now what we do here, Gemini, <clears throat> We will look at your overall energy for the month of February 2023 before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, if there's healing that needs to happen somehow. And then lastly, we look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of February 2023. So let's um, jump right in here. Gemini, you are really, really guided and protected this month. A lot of your ancestors and your guides by default um, keep an eye on you this month. So this is a month where you ought to, sounds a bit weird, be quiet uh, and a bit internal. Uh, so you can hear the, the guidance coming to you. What that then denotes is that um, while 2023 is a seven year really high positive energy and it, it is also in February, it's not a bad month, energetically speaking, um, you will be reminded this month that things need to change in certain areas. And uh, it's that rather than getting annoyed about it or upset about it, it's just realizing, yeah, maybe I have outgrown that part, maybe it can be tweaked. Maybe I have to walk away from it, or maybe I have to send people away. <laughs> so the overall energy is really about you understanding that you already have the answers. You just need to stop and look within. The issue that you're having um, being imprinted as a Gemini is that Gemini is the sign of the twin. And how that what that translates into is that sometimes that inner voice that tells you, yeah, say something, yeah, do that or don't do that, isn't quite as present. Um, but you have all the guides around you. Really, really important. <clears throat> I also have the feeling, and this is maybe, obviously these are general readings, so they don't resonate with all of you, but I'm getting something rather specific. So for one of you, or maybe two of you that are watching here, there is an anniversary happening this month um, that you will go to. What the message is, if, there, if this is you, if there is an anniversary coming up, it could just also be an anniversary of a passing and you just go to the, to the, to the, to the graveside. The point the guides are making, if there is an anniversary and you will be there, be there detached, right? Don't pay attention um, about people's um, nastiness, probably the stronger word, but people have opinions, right? Um, they should keep them to yourself, to themselves, right? Really, really important. Don't get annoyed um, with people and situations. They're not worth it. It's that simple. Are you okay, Richard? You're rocking the whole table, the whole, whole picture. Here we go. Hmm? You're a good boy. So, that is the overall energy for uh, the month of February for the sign of Gemini. The last part about the, the, um, the anniversary coming up is obviously for those that it resonates with. And now we're looking at um, your emotional core. And I'm actually drawn to, um, to reading a leaf, uh, or that or leaf here rather than the, um, the crystal ball. And what I'm seeing here, um, I don't know if you can see this, this was, it's, it's, a, it's an artist rendering um, that was sent to me as a thank you uh, for a couple of readings. And you see what you see in it, that's the whole point when you do a reading. Anyway, I'm just drawn to this for your emotional core. And what I'm seeing is, is two very distinct things. One is a UFO and the other one is a turtle. So, in other words, with regards to your emotional core, I don't feel in February, even though it's Valentine's Day this month, <laughs> I don't feel that the guides wish to speak to you about your love life. It's just not here. But because you have the UFO, which is just basically um, a reminder that you actually come from the stars, so it's understanding, and remember we talked about your ancestors and your guides being around, that you are a deep soul and an old soul. And when it comes to your emotional core, always pay attention to how deep you are because that is what allows you to pick up on subtleties quite a lot. Now, this is the month for you to begin releasing stuff that is no longer working for you. And I say begin because you had a turtle. Um, and that just means that, you know, you are slowly beginning to let go of stuff that isn't working for you. Um, 
and you shouldn't get annoyed about it you shouldn't um, think like oh my god this is still painful yeah let it be painful right it's one of many emotions that needs to be felt point is you are releasing you're doing everything you're asked by the guides you're letting it go you're not giving power to stuff that isn't for you anymore really really important but the energy for your sign for the month of february when it comes to your emotional core is is for healing to allow to happen okie dokie now let's look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of february 2023 for your very sign of gemini in order for you to hmm, get what you want you will need to be outside or out of your comfort zone so this is more about you feeling yeah i should be a bit more proactive here the energy here is when it comes to opportunities that um so i have these two uh, <laughs> resonance bubbles galaxies and then there's two in between so in short what that means is the distance between what it is you're thriving for and what you ultimately can achieve is quite wi wide this month so what the guides are saying to you is is, is to just um be a bit patient but also um probably, probably make a list about or uh, what it is you really want to have happen in your work life or whatever it is you do that sort of uh, sustains you if that makes sense uh, so that changes can actually be manifested properly don't chase anything it's not worth it you're not a chaser it doesn't work for gemini um but there are opportunities but they're a bit uh, far away at this point in time and they're not saying to you that you tread water as such they're just saying to you you know pay attention to okay it's i i, I don't seem to be getting anywhere um what are the, the the stumbling blocks what what is there that i need to look at okie dokie gemini that's all i got thank you so much please like subscribe and share and remember if you are scrolling down the video list you will also find the full moon uh, February full moon reading the full moon is in Leo this month um, on the page right thank you so much have a good one see you soon